Hello to our Rose Bowl Aquatic Center family. My name is Jeff Julian. I am the head coach of the swim team programs at the center. And I'm reaching out today to just share a few brief messages to all of our members and all of our family here at the Rose Bowl Aquatic Center. First, similar to what I share with the team, I coach a lot based on growth mindset and process. And this is the perfect example of how to do it. It's not always about positive and negatives, but it's about focusing on what we can control. Control the controllables. And in a process world and how we work a process, it's perfect because if we can't swim, then we can work all of the other pieces to make sure that we end this process and this period of time in a better place than we were when we started. That may seem difficult and it may seem like we can pick out all of the negatives and all of the things that are going to be harder by the time we go through this process. But for me, that's, we can't do that. We have to focus on what we control. We have to focus on our process. Here at the center, we're trying to do just that. We're trying to clean the center. We're trying to organize. We're trying to fix different things. We're planning for the future so we can hit the ground running when we can open up those doors or if we can open up the doors a little bit earlier and, and slowly get people in. Or we're planning for now and we're trying to do online and remote programming so that we can stay in touch with our family and the people that, we, that mean so much to us along the way. Uh, but then individually, I have four pieces that I wanted to share this morning. The first one is I want you to make sure that you keep structure or discipline in your life. We cannot go through this without that structure and discipline. We get too lazy, we get complacent, and we won't get things. Not only that, in terms of accomplishments, it affects us mentally. Keep the discipline and keep the structure in your life. Keep a schedule to those days. You're going to have to do it yourself, but learn how to do that. The second piece of it is accomplish something daily. It doesn't have to be big. Throw the trash out cook something, but feel good about what you accomplished on that day. Even if it's a smaller piece of a bigger project, feel good about accomplishing those pieces and making progress towards that end goal. Uh, the third one being meditation or visualization. For me, swimming in aquatics is all about that meditative thing. It's all about that being able to block out the world and not overthink things and just allow your, your mind to settle. And now in this scary kind of unknown time, I think it's that much more important and we can't get in the water, so we have to find a different way. For me, it's meditation or even visualization and, and help yourself become a better swimmer along the way. Uh, and the last piece, but probably the most important, is I hope you will all remember to laugh. Call somebody up on, on Zoom or Skype or FaceTime or whatever it is and laugh with them. Enjoy family time. Watch a TV show. Watch a movie. Read a book. Do something that makes you laugh and enjoy this and lifts your spirit up. There's a lot out there that's still good as long as we're not focusing on the negatives. Thank you for being a part of our Rose Bowl Aquatics family, and we'll see you soon.